Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. Samsung has released a new user interface, One UI 6, based on Android 14. And with the S24 series, we get One UI 6.1, with even more features. The list of what's new is huge, so what exactly should you pay attention to? Let's do a deep dive into One UI 6 and 6.1 and find out. We'll start off with the basics. Samsung's One UI is the interface and software package found across all of its phones. One UI uses vivid colors and large icons to provide a signature look. The main place you can store your apps is the app drawer, which is on by default. You can also keep all of your apps on the home screen. Then instead of an app drawer, swiping up on the screen will open a system-wide search. A new feature in One UI 6 is that you can touch and hold the icon of a supported app in the search results to get quick access to its functions without having to open the app first. One UI 6 packs a suite of pre-installed apps from Google, as well as a couple from Microsoft, as these companies have a partnership. Of course, there are many proprietary Samsung apps, including Health, the File Manager, the Gallery, and the Web Browser. The Samsung Browser has a new feature in One UI 6. If you're playing a video, you can keep the video sound playing in the background, even if you leave the current tab or even the app itself. The task switcher is pretty straightforward. By long pressing the app icons on the top and dragging them to different areas of the screen, you can open the apps in split screen or pop-up view mode. There's also an edge panel, an area for shortcuts that you access by swiping from the edge of the screen. From here, it's easy to launch apps into a split screen. And you can store shortcuts for split screen pairs as well. You can also use the power button as a shortcut to launch the camera, a particular app, or Bixby, Samsung's AI assistant. Supported widgets can be stacked on top of each other on the home screen, and you switch between them by swiping. And like before, the phone can create color palettes, with an extensive list of color combinations based on your wallpaper. These system-wide themes can affect your app icons too. Samsung's Game Launcher acts as a hub for all of your games, and also provides Do Not Disturb options, performance options, and shortcuts to social media platforms. The Secure folder is handy for keeping files and apps hidden and safe. It's protected by Samsung's Knox encryption, and you can add a passcode or biometric lock. DeX is a feature mainly found on Samsung's flagships. It allows you to connect your phone to a monitor either wirelessly or through HDMI to achieve a PC-like interface. If you have any peripherals like a mouse or keyboard, you can connect them to the phone and enjoy the full DeX PC experience. Altogether, you get something like a desktop PC, and you can play games or watch videos on the big screen. From the Connected Devices menu, you can see what's connected, and you have access to all of the features that work with other devices, like QuickShare, SmartView, and DeX. Modes are a set of options that allow you to program the phone's behavior for different conditions. For example, if you're going to bed, the sleep mode can make things easier on your eyes and turn off notifications. A new addition from One UI 6 is that you can set up a different lock screen for each mode, with their own wallpapers and clock styles. Routines do the same sort of thing, but these are even more customizable. You set them up from scratch, and they can be triggered by different parameters, like actions or time. In One UI, your security and privacy options are easy to find. They're organized within a specific dashboard and settings. Something new in One UI 6 is Samsung Pass, which you can use for passkey authentication to supported apps and websites. Finally, Samsung has been quite reliable in providing software updates for its phones for years down the line. You get seven years on the new Galaxy S24 flagships. Now let's dive further into what's new with One UI 6.0. First off, there are a lot of cosmetic changes and rearrangements throughout the interface. For example, the Quick Toggles panel has been rearranged, most notably when expanded. Here's a comparison to the previous One UI 5. Now, there's a setting you can turn on to get the expanded quick panel from a single swipe from the corner. In this case, you'll see the notifications by swiping from the left corner. And in general, the notifications layout has been revamped. There's a new battery settings menu which provides more feedback and options to tweak. And digital well-being has been redesigned, making it easier to find the information you need. Many Samsung apps have also been redesigned to be more intuitive, like the Reminders app, the Calendar, the Photo Editor, and the Video Player, as well as Samsung Health. You can now manipulate objects within the interface with two hands. Use one hand to hold down on an app icon, widget, file, or photo, and the other hand navigates to the place where you want to drop it. 
The new Weather Insights widget provides more specific information, useful to look out for inclement weather. Now you can add custom camera widgets to your home screen too. You can set each of them to start in a specific shooting mode and save pictures in an album of your choice. The camera app has also seen a bit of an update too. The new auto scan lets you scan documents automatically by pointing the camera at them without even pressing the shutter button. When grid lines are turned on, you get a level line as well to see if you need to adjust the camera. And while viewing a picture or video, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go to detail view. From here, you get quick access to effects and editing features. There's a new, more powerful video editor too, called Studio. You can access Studio from the gallery or just add an icon to your home screen. It lets you build a single timeline using multiple video clips. You can adjust their position and length, add transitions, and place stickers, subtitles, and other objects into layers on top. One UI 6.1 is the software experience found on Samsung's new flagships, and the Point one brings a bunch of AI-based features. This release will eventually be available as an update to the S23 series too. One exciting feature is real-time two-way translation of calls within the native phone app with support of 13 languages at launch. And for a face-to-face -face conversation, the phone can also perform live translation of voices as well as text. Like on the Google Pixels, you can transcribe a conversation into text with speaker labels, and the AI can then summarize that for notes. AI has also made its way into the Samsung keyboard. Here you can access a translator, as well as Chat Assist, where the AI can give you suggestions to rephrase your words. When you're driving in the car, the Galaxy AI can summarize messages you received and also suggest appropriate answers based on context. Circle to search with Google is pretty neat. You can circle or tap an image, video, or text for an on-the-fly Google search. QuickShare replaces Android's nearby share you all know about, and it allows you to send info between any Android device and Windows PC. No cable needed. Reflection removal uses AI to remove annoying reflections from your photos. What's left to fill in that space is AI-generated, which sometimes leads to some interesting changes in background. And within a photo, you can click on and move objects and even resize them for the desired effect. Finally, when you're playing back a video in the gallery, you can tap and hold to slow it down. The extra frames for the slow-mo are generated by AI. So there you have it guys. One UI has evolved a lot with each generation and the latest version packs a ton of features. Have I missed anything here? Let us know down in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.